The multi-billion dollar Laos to China Railway is set to begin operations by the end of the year as scheduled, completing the first link of a long-envisioned rail line connecting southwest China, with Singapore. Bowdoin to Vientiane Line, is a 414 km standard gauge electrified railway, under construction in Laos with 94% overall completion rate. Connecting the country's capital Vientiane, to Bowdoin, a small town near the border of China. On October 15, the Lane Zhang electric multiple unit train, arrives at the Laos northern border town of Bowdoin, after passing by the China-Laos borderline. The dream of the Lao people, to transform the landlocked country into a land-linked hub in the region is coming true. As the streamlined China Standard Bullet Train for the China-Laos Railway, arrived in Lao capital Vientiane. The EMU train, was officially delivered to the Laos-China Railway Company Limited, a joint venture based in the Lao capital Vientiane. A handover ceremony held in the station, with the attendance of Chinese Ambassador to Laos Zhang Zedong, and Lao Minister of Public Works and Transport Vingsabeth Sifanwan. Ambassador Zhang, said in his speech at the Saturday ceremony, that Laos receives the first modern train in its history today, is decisive progress in the construction of the China-Laos Railway. And it is also a landmark achievement of the strategic docking, between the China-proposed Belt and Road Initiative, and Laos' strategy to convert itself from a landlocked country to a land-linked hub. On September 29, the final tunnel of its 414 km rail project has been bored, signaling an end to the epic, large-scale civil engineering works required by the line. The extreme nature of the project is reflected in the fact that the line will have 75 tunnels with 198 km total length, and 165 bridges with 62 km total length, which combine as more than half the length of the entire line. About all of track has been laid, and its first station, at Natoy, has been topped out. While the Vientiane station, the largest of the 20 stops, started its construction in July. Like most modern line, the railway is using double-track standard gauge continuous weld technology to reduce the number of rail joints and therefore decrease the system's maintenance needs and improve the smoothness of ride. With advanced technology, the EMU train set is safe, comfortable and reliable with large passenger capacity but low operating costs and fully meets the main performance indicators required by the China-Laos railway operation. The train set is painted in the Lao flag colors of red, blue, and white. The interior design integrates elements of traditional Chinese and Lao cultures, embodying the Lao people's vision of a better life and the friendship between the two peoples. When commissioned, the electrified line will run from the town of Bowdoin on Laos border with China to Vientiane, with freight and passengers traveling at 160 km per hour. consists of nine carriages, including a locomotive, a dining coach, a first-class and six second-class coaches, and provides altogether 720 seats. The air-conditioned carriages are spacious with comfortable seats installed with power outlets of Chinese and Lao standards. The dining coach is well equipped to meet the needs of passengers for food and leisure, the screens, broadcasts and service signs are all in three languages of Chinese, Lao, and English, and the fourth carriage with barrier-free areas is equipped with special seats, handrails, toilets, SOS call buttons, and braille guide signs to facilitate the travel of disabled passengers. The Laos-China Railway will bring great convenience to trade and travel between the two countries. Breaking through the blockade of the mountains and converting Laos from a landlocked country to a land-linked hub is the dream of the Lao people. The project started on December 2016, and will be operational by December this year. According to the current progress of construction, the Lao government proposed that the coming Lao National Day on December 2, will be the target date to achieve official opening. The project is expected to have a cost of about $6 billion, of which $3.6 billion is being covered by a loan from the Export-Import Bank of China, with the remainder being raised by LCRC. This is about a third of Laos' GDP, which has raised concerns about repayment. <laughs>